What is going on, everybody? YouTube, how's it going? It's the middle of August, and uh, I haven't done one of these in a little while, so I'm going to share some items I've sold, some clothing items I've sold in the last couple weeks. I'm going to talk about, as usual, uh, how much I paid for them, uh, what I sold them for, um, talk about a little, uh, just share a little bit of information, and hopefully you uh, learn something, you'll find some value out of this, and maybe you will, of course, find something out in the wild that you can list as well and make a few bucks on. Um, I just want to go ahead and say thank you to everyone. I'm at nearly 500 subscribers, so it's a beautiful thing. I, uh, I appreciate it profusely. I can't say how thankful I am for that, and uh, I uh, appreciate uh, you spend your time with me as I share some things. So let's just jump right into it. First thing is a uh, NFL jersey, as you may know. Football season's right around the corner, so people are hunting these things, getting ready for the season. This is a near Giants Victor Cruz Nike on-field football jersey. And I found this at Goodwill for $8, new with tags. Uh, it was a no-brainer. I picked it up. Let's look at the tag. It was a large. And I listed it. And it took a few a week or so, week and a half to sell, and someone paid my full asking price. Um, I listed it and went to bed, and I woke up and I had four watchers on it, and I had had it priced at fifty nine ninety nine plus shipping, and I decided um, since it was getting so much attention, I raised the price sixty nine ninety nine. I raised it ten dollars, and um, uh, I looked at my phone a couple days later, and someone paid my full asking price, so I sold it for almost seventy five bucks. I paid eight. And uh, just a great return. I mailed it in a box. Um, I packaged it really well. I put um, tissue paper with it because the uh, I just didn't want the, uh, the lettering to get uh, any uh, damage to it. I just wanted to make it look as new as possible. So not only did I find this one, I found another one as well, which I have listed, and I'm hoping it sells soon for a good price. Next up um, is a Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Their RLX line. It's a golf polo, and I didn't get this at a thrift store. I got this at a retail store on Clarence, and I paid ten dollars for it. And it didn't take too long to sell, and less than a week, I made a good flip. It retails for eighty-nine dollars. I paid ten, so it was a great, um, you know, markdown. Um, and I sold it for forty dollars plus three shipping, so forty-three bucks. Um, I think I did the math and made about $25 on the purchase, so 250 times my investment. And um, it was really easy to pack and sell. So, new with tag stuff, I love it because uh, almost always there's no flaws. Um, and there's a retail price, and it's a pretty consistent seller. It's Ralph Lauren. So, this was an XL Polo, and it's off to New York. 43 bucks. Next up is a nice, uh, nice blazer. It's a Stafford. Had a nice color to it with the gold buttons, a nice burgundy red maroon color. Um, let's look at the label. Um, buyer loved it, left right feedback. It was made in the USA. Nothing too fancy. Um, it wasn't nice, you know, super high end fabric, but it's a consistent seller. Stafford Blazers, the chat, Ralph Lauren, they move quicker because there's more of an audience. More people recognize the brand as opposed to a super high end Italian brand, right? They're not searching for Brioni. They don't know what Brioni is. They don't know what uh, the Zegna, all these crazy brands sell. They might not sell for a ton of money, but there's an audience for it. This was a bigger size. It was 50 regular, so it's a big boy blazer. Um, someone paid my full asking price, $39.99. cost me about 7 bucks to ship, and I only paid about 5 bucks for it. So it's a nice plug. Good jacket. Um, speaking of football, um, I found this beautiful uh, vintage Cliff Engel Cleveland Brown sweater. I think this is probably from the 80s. It was a wool blend, very nice, uh, no holes or anything weird with it. Um, just a beautiful sweater, has a nice look to it, perfect for uh, football season. Would make a perfect gift for your uncle or a fan in your family, friend. Um, paid six bucks for it at Goodwill, and I sold it for. I think 55 or 56 bucks. It was on sale. Um, cost me about seven bucks to ship, and it went to, of course, Cleveland or in the Cleveland area. I went to Ohio, so um, I'm sure there's a happy fan uh, that 
It's going to be uh, the envy of his friends and other fans. Uh, next up is a great item made by Patagonia. Um, just a nice heavy um, organic cotton shirt. Nice color to it. Uh, nothing flashy, just a nice uh, shirt. Probably paid five bucks for it. Um, and I sold it for, it was a uh, Thirty-two fifty. They actually offered me a pretty, pretty close amount to my uh, my asking price. So, cost me five bucks to ship, and uh, made a good, good profit on that. Next up is a nice Brooks Brothers jacket. Um, this is a Brooks Brothers stretch. Um, just a nice lightweight jacket. Um, nice sport coat. These don't go for a ton of money, but they are consistent sellers. If you can get them cheap. Take a nice photo, though, will sell for 30 to $45, maybe 50 if it's a bigger size. Um, this one was a 45 regular. Um, I listed it for 50 I accepted the best offer at $35. Um, and they left for a feedback, so. Um, of course, not getting rich, but uh, making a few bucks here and there. Um, I had to show this. <laughs> I've had it for a while. This was pre-mannequin. Probably had this seven or eight months. I had a price tie just because it was so different. This is a Brooks Brothers polo shirt, uh, shirt, but it was just so different. Vintage. It was like almost a velour. It's shiny. It, it, it was velvety. I just couldn't see anything like it. And I just sat on it forever. I'd have a few watchers and no one pulled the trigger. I uh, finally uh, did get an offer of $29.99 and I couldn't hit the accept button fast enough to get it out of my... Uh, get out of my house and uh, someone's going to be uh, rocking this beautiful velour polo shirt in the future. Um, but I did have to sit on it for a long time. Um, this next item I wanted to show you guys just because it goes to show you that uh, the brand will sell itself regardless of condition. So don't be afraid if the condition isn't perfect if it's a unique item. This is a polo reform sweater. It has the raised letters polo. You can already see uh, the letters are a little dinged up. They have some wear. Um, but that was the least of this uh, sweatshirt's worries. You see on the sleeve there, there's paint stains. Um, there's a picture of the letters. They had some wear to them. Let's look at the tag. You see the gold dot? That just means it was sold at a retail store instead of online. So, closer look at the letters, they were pretty banged up. And then these stains. Uh, I took plenty of pictures just to show the condition of it, but um, it wasn't perfect by any stretch. There's paint there, the staining on the sleeves, there's paint, the cuff was a little dinged up and beaten. Nevertheless, I decided I'll buy it. It was $3.99 or $4.99 at Salvation Army. I listed it for 20 bucks plus shipping, and I uh, threw a sale on, so it went down to like 17 bucks and change. And someone paid for it overnight. It didn't last long at all, and I I sold it for like uh, 23, 24 bucks. So it was just a really quick flip in and out of my house real quick. And it goes to show you that if it's a unique piece, people buy it uh, regardless of condition. Next up is a very very beautiful looking shirt. Look at this, it's gorgeous. It's a it's a Paradise Found LL Bean shirt. Paradise Found uh, Paradise Found for LL Bean. Just a beautiful vintage Hawaiian shirt. Um, it was a size uh, XL tall, so a pretty uh, different size, and big and tall. The colors popped on it. I had to sit on it for a while. I had a price high, um, but I sold it for $33, I think. I accepted an offer. So just a very beautiful shirt. I usually pick up Hawaiian shirts if they're uh, made in Hawaii or they have just great subject matter or color. I actually got this shirt it was, uh, the same day I got the last one, and they took a while to sell, but they did sell relatively close to each other in time, so I thought that was funny. This is a brand that I have to sit on usually for quite some time. The territory head stuff uh, sits, but it does sell, and it does sell for a good amount of money. Um, I got $29 for this button front shirt. Had a pretty interesting look to it. These fish, I think they're koi fish. Pretty colorful, pretty special, pretty unique. But it really takes a, uh, the right buyer. Not everyone's going to want to wear this. So, um, but nevertheless, it's sold. A brand I usually don't have any problem selling is this. 
then your vines well sure these things uh, sell pretty quickly for me usually within a week um, they're a great seller at around 30 to 50 dollars depending on the size and what it looks like I got 36 or 38 for this it was on sale and it didn't take long at all I paid 399 for it. quick flip it's a very uh, it's a newer brand I think it's less than 10 years old so if you see vintage vineyard vines they're full of it um, but it's uh, a brand targeted towards the younger crowd or the you know the preppy um, preppy uh, kids and college students so it's a great uh, back to school kind of shirt sells great good return speaking of preppy I learned about this brand I saw this little fish logo on this polo shirt so I had to look it up and it turns out this is a preppy brand too they actually target themselves to the younger crowd Southern Tide is a skipjack polo he sell really really well I sold this in 12 hours I accept the best offer of $28 plus $350 shipping paid $399 sold it for $31 and it was out the door real real quick so Southern Tide it's a great brand I had never seen it before but if I see this little fishy again you best believe I'm bringing them home this sold for more than I thought it would this is a Harley Davidson sweater half zip quarter zip whatever it is XL just a nice plain it did have the embroidery Harley Davidson up front but I didn't think I'd get as much for it as I did I sold it for 32 and a few cents and six bucks shipping 599 um, so someone paid almost 44 and it went to uh, the buyer had 20,000 feedback it's one of those that buy for the international crowd and they handle the shipping so I have never had any problem with those buyers um, I welcome them because I never get a return or hear from them again so Harley uh, depending on what it is sell for a good amount of money so good stuff there last few items guys this is a Nike Brooklyn Nets uh, warm-up jersey it was really heavy um, it was an XL but it was huge it was big it was thick um, it had metal buttons just a nice jersey I accepted the best offer I, it was on sale for 28.15 so I'm top on it took a couple months to sell but it's out the door and the last two items um, went to the same buyer um, this Ralph Lauren dress shirt and this Ralph Lauren dress shirt I had them both um, in my store for $40 plus $5.99 shipping and the buyer asked sent me a message and said hey would you take $50 for both of them and free shipping I said I will give you the free shipping but uh, 65 is uh, the least I can do and thanks for your offer and uh, if you go ahead and buy them, I'll send you an updated invoice and waive the shipping. And sure enough, I got an offer for $32.50 and $32.50. And so this was a nice $65 sale that I could ship together. This is Ralph Lauren. Um, of course, they're both with the Pony logo. And the real seller for it, take a guess, uh, is the size. 4XL tall. These things were sitting at Goodwill for 5 bucks. I couldn't believe they were so cheap. And they were enormous. Um, bigger sizes sell and they sell well I had to sit on these for a little while maybe a month or two but it was nice to clear both of these out because they're just big shirts uh, bigger sizes sell well I could never sell a Ralph Lauren dress shirt um, for $32.50 um, I might get $25 to $30 but um, definitely a premium for a 4XL tall these were pretty plain um, so I probably would have had a tough time getting rid of them for $32.50 a piece. Um, but nice, a nice sale there for $65. Bucks. I paid $4.50 a piece after my 10% uh, off discount rewards card that uh, my local Goodwill had. So really just a great flip. And being able to ship them together, I saved quite a bit of money on uh, shipping as well. That's my video. I hope it didn't go too long. If you liked uh, what you saw, um, comment below with your kind words or what you picked up or what you sold recently. Like the video, subscribe if you care about the videos I make and you want to see more. And uh, have yourself a great rest of your day. Peace.